Oh man, it finally rained. After a month of no rain, it's pouring. Look at this. <laughs> our pastures definitely need it. Our animals needed it. We need to get this grass to grow. Yeah. What's great about these kuni kunis is that we only feed them two cups a day of feed, plus food scraps. So we don't need to buy that much feed for them. If these were regular feeder pigs, I'd probably be feeding them up to 13, 14 pounds a day. Zeke wants to be a dad. Elvira does not want to be a mother. We might end up separating them again, give it a year and then put them back together at some point. And yeah, just trying to fill it out and see if we can have piglets with these two. If not, I don't know, then we gotta think about it. Like, do we wanna just keep them? Uh, or do we wanna put them in our freezer? We just ordered another 2,000 pound toe to feed, so we should be getting that today, maybe tomorrow. I'm hoping today. We did lose a few of these meatballs, which I think still leaves us with about 40, because they did give us some extras. We got more barrels. These are gonna be our feed barrels. Before we get our tote, I need to clear out the barn also, so that way we can back in. The last video I posted, I mentioned that, hey, it hasn't rained in like a month. Like literally, after I posted that video, that night, it rained. It rained probably maybe 30 minutes, but it was a good hard rain, it's what we needed. You come out here, I need to, just looking at all the animals. Probably shouldn't be out here, actually. Believe it or not, we only have two more weeks with these Cornish crosses. That reminds me guys, if you guys are interested in a hands-on chicken processing, butchering workshop, I'll leave that link down below. It's coming up. We're gonna be butchering these guys and putting them in our freezer and we're gonna show you how to do it. So if you're looking for hands-on experience, this is a good opportunity. It's very limited tickets uh, and we usually sell out pretty quick. So link is in description if you wanna check that out. I'm almost done of making another portable chicken coop so that way I can use the other chicken coop for these guys and then split them up between the two. But I feel like the days are going super fast. The hours are fast, everything is going fast and I'm going at a snail's pace. At least it feels that way. These turkeys we're not going to be ready till November, so you're looking at maybe five or six months from now. Whenever I come out here first thing in the morning, I always think that all these animals are staring at me. Over 300 pairs of eyes just looking at me saying, feed me. That and water, especially when it doesn't rain. Filling up all these waters and keeping up with that. I mean, sometimes I'm out here three times a day trying to fill up all these waters because they're just going through it. This is the hay that the beefy boys didn't eat. So whenever they don't eat, I usually try to come out here and just spread it as best I can or, or run the mower over it. You're not really wasting it because eventually it's just gonna turn to dirt and that, that is what we need. We had this one I gave them. They didn't even touch this one yet. Thanks guys for having encouraging words on the last video of how I was, I don't know if I'm frustrated, I'm just like, I just want the best for these two steers. So, you know, and then looking at all the videos, everyone has this lush pastures, and I don't, definitely don't. So I always felt like, man, I shouldn't have to buy hay, but it looks like that's what I'm just gonna have to do. And that's just part of the deal, right? Like, so, you know, we're just, we're just learning this stuff. We're just 
trying to figure it out how to raise two steers and have our own beef, which I'm excited about. Good morning, Bernice. Buzzy Muggins, good morning. Shipping company just called me. Lights work. They're gonna meet me at Tractor Supply. So I'm headed down there right now. I didn't buy this feed through Tractor Supply, but they're just letting me use their loading and unloading facility. This, this part was a little tricky last time. He had to put on uh, fork extenders, because my gate, guys, this gate does not come off. It's a welded on shut. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a good. Shout out to New Country Organics for delivering this feed and also Tractor Supply guys. I mean, they're letting us use, I mean, they're unloading ramps and they're unloading it for nothing. So, man, I love you guys. If you guys are watching this video, thank you so much. This means a lot to me um, just because I'm just a small guy, you know? Like, I'm not, you know, they're not making anything from this. You know, they're just helping a neighbor out. Loading it is the easy part. Unloading it is always the hard part. Actually, it went pretty smooth last time. We're gonna add some pallets here, just in case that we need to move these full feed barrels. Uh, we, it'll just be a little bit easier to move. So if you're counting at home, one of these barrels will hold 300 pounds of feed. We're at a slope here, so I think we're gonna definitely try to use that to our advantage. That's what we learned last time, we had to scoot up our trailer a little bit. Last time we had a problem because of this lip right here. Those wheels don't want to go over this lip. It's not an off-road vehicle. So I'm gonna try to have these plates and plywood that I'm gonna try to use. So maybe that'll work. Oh man, what happened? You just crushed it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it went pretty smooth so far. Like it, it didn't, I was afraid it was just gonna roll right over your body. <laughs> All right, there goes that wood. That's, yeah. <laughs> and this bent. Well, now it's stuck. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not even really pushing. Let's try it. Go! Oh. oh no, it's not budging. It's not even budging, guys. We can't even get it to move. Yeah. Randy, where are you at? We'll need you, Randy. <laughs> it's because it's, I see where the wheel is caught. It's caught right here. The wheels are stuck right in there. So we're going to try this again. That's it, we did it. 
It ain't pretty, look at this. I, the truck was struggling a little bit. <laughs> like I, I was stepping on the gas to go backwards and I was like, uh, it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> it's this gate. This yeah. gate is like. I think we need to weld something on there. Yeah, this is just we destroyed right here. I thought maybe that this wood would work. It's probably not strong this, enough. This is like a piece of paper. But we need a, some metal here. I need to weld something, I think, on there. That was the hard part. This is the easy part now. All right, the family's all here. We're, we're shoveling feed now. This is a, a great family event. If you guys want to do something as a family, this is a good opportunity to do that. Right, Penelope? Yeah. <laughs> right, Mom? Right. This feed should last us about five months uh, because we're going to be splitting this feed with our neighbor. You know, our neighbors, we went in halves with our neighbors. They're going to get a thousand pounds. We're going to get a thousand pounds. That is a good way to bring your cost of feed down. Get a tote. This is the most economical way to buy feed. Three minutes per barrel. That's all it takes to fill up a 55 gallon barrel of feed. Three minutes. That's the aftermath of unloading a 2,000 pound tote. With the two totes that I bought this year, which I'm going to buy one more tote this year, I've already saved a thousand dollars. Frank can move it. You got it. Honestly, this is why this honestly this is the only reason why I wanted to build this style of chicken coop, which is a Siskovich chicken coop, is because they're so light. And it was important for me that my wife move this and eventually my daughter. Plus with the chick lift. We're giving them extra water. So these turkeys are big grazers. Look at this. These are these are eating off tops of grasses. I think that's more so even uh, the broilers over there. You want me to put some on the floor? Mm. No. Yeah, getting that feed always wears me out. <laughs> I mean that's. Yeah, that, that, that's a, that can be a lot, but uh, we're, we're getting it done here, guys. We're getting it done, and tomorrow we're gonna move out the two beefy boys. We're still moving this way. We got a good rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We'll see. Just do 1% every single day, and eventually you'll get it all done, right?